can I can I say Abel? Can I call you Abel? Please. Yeah. Uh, Are you gonna call me Joe? Yeah. No, Tom. I thought. Uh, that is my middle name. Okay. Really? I didn't know it. What are you psychic? Kind of. So, uh, how do you work with actors? I'm not. I'm not asking you formally, but what is your what is your you approach? Know, the approach is I have got my own job on a set. You know, my job is first of all choose the right actor, and that is always got to be the job of the director. In the end, I cannot have an, an actor forced on me because the relationship then is gone. I have to choose that actor. That actor has to know that I want him. There's not somebody else wants him and maybe, not that I don't have the power to take him, but that in his mind that maybe I'm not happy with him being my actor. These actors know I wanted them, you know what I mean? I chose them. And then we work and we rehearse, but then at that certain point, as a director, all I could do is 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 like now like shut everybody up give them a place to do it not have people in their face the actor has to give the performance I, at that point i can't do I, there's nothing i could say i can't wave a wand i can't come up with some brilliant piece of direction i i can't move because i got my own thing that i'm doing I see. because if i'm worried about his performance i'm gonna f what i'm supposed to be doing you know and those guys ain't looking for me to do anything so, you know, he's the director, you know, I mean, you know, when you're a young kid, you think you're going to, you're Jesus Christ. And, you know, you, you know, you, 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 you're going to have something to say or you, there's some magic word that's going to take somebody to another level. But, you know, these are professional actors. They got to bring it to the table. Uh, I have a question about the King of New York. There was so much, uh, there's so much violence in that movie, but it doesn't come across as a meaningless there's some statement that I didn't really clarify to myself uh, about New York violence, gangs, and especially uh, I remember the whole fuss about uh, about uh, the mayor of New York, uh, Giuliani, who got the credit to, uh, to, uh, of cleaning up the city. Uh, somebody just said he made the city sterile. He, he didn't make the city sterile because, you know, that goes on inside. They used to go on outside. Goes on inside. He didn't clean up. I mean, what are you telling me? That there's that, that less amount of prostitution. Is that less amount of Drug. drugs? Uh, that much less of violence. You know, I mean, it's, it's inside, not outside. You know, guys don't walk around like wise guys. People aren't standing outside. You know what? You can't get. You know, New York. Yeah, there's more of a police presence. Okay. And I, so the streets are safer. You can walk in Central Park. Who wants to walk in Central Park? I mean, who would any brains are going to walk in Central Park? I'm more worried about pit bulls than people. You know, we're going to be out of your mind. I mean, you're not supposed to walk in Central Park. You know what I'm saying? At night. You're supposed to walk in Central Park in the daytime when everybody's there. Central Park was not built to go crawling around at night in. That's, you know, unless you're looking for trouble. But, um,. Yeah, anyway, what, but, uh, again, what, what are we talking about? Giuliani. Is there, I don't want to talk about Giuliani. But about, the new film is about Giuliani. So, I got I, I to gotta ask you, Sarah, that question about your, your, your famous, favorite movies. All right, before I do that, we were, we're going to do a, um, a prequel to The King of New York. You, you said that last night. Right, when Giuliani was um, really attacking the mob for the first time. We're going to see okay. Giuliani, not as a mayor, but as a DA. I see. And as a mayor, you got to be. I can't be water in, 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 in Moses Falcon. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, Harry Cattell in uh, Bad Lieutenant, uh, incredible performance again. Uh, what is behind his addiction? Is it the stress of a cup? Is this uh, just, you know, uh, uh, devil in, inside a human being or a combination of all of it? Yeah combination of all of it. You know, I grew up, I was talking about this today with the students. I mean, I grew up in the late 60s, you know, there's a certain point of your education when you go to the movies a lot. So at the time I went to the movies because I grew up not in New York. I grew up in upstate New York in a small town. Um, actually, I grew up in the same town Mel Gibson is from and Pee Wee Herman and Nicky St. John, you know. But in that town, you didn't see any more Bergman movies. You didn't see Godard. So when my education yeah, I saw John Ford all the time, but I didn't know who John Ford was. I didn't know there was a director. 
I didn't know anything. I was just like, wow, kill the f-ing Indians, man. You know? um, but then when I learned who John Ford was, or Nicholas Ray, or Joseph Losey, or Alfred Hitchcock, or Stanley Kubrick, or Godard, Polanski, Ken Russell, Pasolini, Fellini, um, Sataja Ray, Kurosawa, you know, then the Stranger films, you know, Van Der Beek, Michael Snow, you know, Peckinpah, and in, you know, Robert Aldridge. I, I didn't want to mention guys because you're gonna, you know, you know, then what about, you know, Sam Fuller? And, you know, if you say Sam Fuller, what about Jean Vigo? If you say Jean Vigo, what about Rossellini? What about, you know, you know, so. You always forget somebody. There's so many out there, man. And that was back in, I'm talking 1960, in the late 60s when I was a teenager and I would go to the movies all the time. You know, I'm not, when you make movies, you know, it's such a full-time deal, you know, when it's time to stop, unless you're going to see the films of your friends or, you know, either actors or filmmakers, you need a break, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't have that passion, but I remember the movies I saw, you know what I mean? I'm not one of these people who like, oh, did you see that movie? And like, oh, maybe, you know, I'll tell you every moment of every film I ever saw. You know? When I saw Chris Penn, uh, I really kind of felt uh, there was some of his real temper, life temper in this movie. I knew him, I drove him in a taxi in LA and uh, used to deal with him when he was drunk and when he was kind of uh, crazy, but crazy in a good way, he was a good man. So uh, it was really, especially when he looked at his brother and he, when he looked at his wife who is approaching him and when he smiles, there was a smile of, of, of Chris Penn. There, was, there wasn't a smile of the character in the movie. You know, you're, you're breaking my heart, man. You know what I mean? So I'm telling you because he... Beautiful. No, what you're saying is so beautiful and I wish people, you know, a lot of people don't, I tell, I tell I tell you a story. He's I, I asked him to read I, I asked him to read the to read the script I wrote when I drove him in a taxi, and he said and he said you know man I I read so many f-ing scripts. Can you try it on my balcony? You know the building I live on the Ocean Avenue. I said I know, and he said climb on the little wall and throw the script on the on the balcony. And I did it. And when, once I did it, I saw there was like hundred scripts on his balcony, and he never read any of them. How do you know he never read any of them? You don't know that. Yours was one of them. At least yours. Was was on the balcony, not in the garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, hey, then, and, then, and, then, and then, you know who's at the bottom of that pile? The funeral. <laughs> and one night he ordered so much food. I remember I'm going to 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 Mexican restaurant, and I thought that he had five people. He said, "Man, uh, pay for it, and I'll, I'll I'll pay you back. Don't worry. Get me some five burritos, three enchiladas, and and I thought he had some company in his apartment. I and I went there. He was by himself. You get, yeah, you know, dude, you kill me. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. God knows. Uh, so tell us about Sarajevo, but honest impression. What would you change in Sarajevo if you can? If you have a power to change something in Sarajevo. Well, let, me skip, let me get here for a little bit longer before I start throwing my weight around. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you very much thank you. for the questions.